we're back out and it's frosty again Hi everyone, we've made the choice to come out this morning because of the weather. This was not planned, we had plans to work at home, Caroline had videos to edit and things to create, I had stuff to do, then we checked the weather forecast. And from tomorrow on, it's rain, rain, rain. And we have no videos in the bag. Everything's been used up, we've got to create Obviously, there was that bit of an inertia where we couldn't make videos and now we're paying for the price. But what a morning! As we drove down, it was just amazing. I had to film the frost as we passed it because the ground is solid and it's just glorious. So whatever happens today, we're guaranteed some beautiful things to see. They may not be the things we can take home, take down the shed and make things with. They may not be the sort of stuff that you'd think, oh, I want to put that on the wall because if we took them in the house they'd melt but frost has a magic of its own and I know so many of you have commented on the way it looked on previous videos so let's go for it let's get into that cold river let's see what we can find and hopefully there's a few treasures in that frozen ground come on let's check it out well I went all the way down to the river and I found this I think it may be a torch I turn it on, or is it a sight up again, or something, a spotting scope? Hmm, yes, it's not a torch, it's definitely something to look through. Oh, does anybody know what that is? Let me know in the comments below, I'd love to know. Right, there's been some more erosion along this path edge. And so let's see if there's anything here that we having a look at. We've got heel of somebody's shoe that's lovely oh i think that may be from a hobnail shoe a little heel oh i like that and we've got this here which is looks like a some sort of pottery with a dragon on do you think oh no i think it's the back of a horse or a reindeer something like that and some little bits of glass old glass it's quite broken little bits of pottery I was about to pick this up and then I spotted when I was turning the camera on there's another piece further along so I'm going to check all these bits of pottery if any of them are the same as this that's the other bit I spotted I'm very clumsy today because I've got two pairs of gloves on there and there and do you think that's a piece of it? No. What about over here? Oh, that's pretty. Don't forget me not, but it's not part of the same piece. Hmm. You keep looking, you never know. What's that bit of metal? Oh, it's one of those. No, that didn't help, did it? <laughs> Maybe you know what that is. I'll put it there to show you. Oh, it's uh, one of those skulls with the, of a an ox or something, and there's the uh, horns, and there's the eyes, and there's the end of the nose. Hmm, possibly. No, I don't think that's what it really is, is it? Oh, look, it's a J for Johnson. Lead piping. 
So I think we'll take that home. I can see a bit of a pretty green tile down there. Hello. Hello, Mr. Johnson. I've picked up one or two bits. Right. What I've noticed is that a lot of the year on the banking mm -hmm. is newly broken, yes. obviously just uncovered. But as you go down to the river, occasionally Ooh. you come across smoother bits. You know me and my bits of terracotta. I love Very it when nice. it's smooth. But this yeah. little piece, which at first, I thought it was ridge pottery, but then I don't know if it's very worn ridge pottery or mm. there's just a craze in you might, no, without my glasses just on. The craze in. Yeah, but then a couple of bits of glass that are not not sharp any longer, should no. we say. They're not the most worn pieces we we've found. Glass. But um and then as I came up, mm -hmm. I spotted oh. that there. Now I gave a kick to the earth because I thought, oh it'll mm -hmm. just be a bit of china. I don't think it's all, but it looks like there's more to it than I first imagined. Oh, right. See, this piece here, mm. little saucer or something. No. Oh, it is only that big, yeah. is it? And so it's look. plain, is it? Yeah, but it's a little doll's tea set. Yeah, thing, that's right. I was hoping oh. it would have been all and we could have excavated it. But Oops. there we go. Mm. Is that a little cog from a clock or what? Down there. Mm. The closer I get, the more sceptical I get. Oh, no. Look at that. The stone, it really looked like a cog. Now, well, we keep looking, we have found a pocket watch down here once, so you never know, we could find another one. I found a brick. Ooh, we found a brick. I found a brick. Let's have a look. It's a crisp, clear brick, so. Crisp and clear. There we go. Darren Brickworks Vista, oh nice. Isn't that a nice one? It is one. very clear, isn't it? It is, it don't come much better than that. It's no. got that sense of age, it's dark, but it's very crisp and clear. Very nice. And of course we were on this river when um, I made a gift of a brick to our friends, the Crafty Caravanners. And um, chance to say, thinking of you today while we're back here, all the best to you both, especially to Cass. So there we go. I found a brick. Now, I reckon this is part of, I don't know, a cycle or a motorbike. I get the feeling a motorbike or some sort of moped because there's a lot of it. It could be something else. It's actually got a nice brass screw there. And it's got many years of paint. I can see white, black, red and perhaps a greeny colour. There may have been writing on there at some point or it could be scratches. Do you all recognise that? What do you reckon that's off? I'm pretty convinced it's some sort of thing with a pedal on, but I could be wrong. I got a bit of metal. Have you? Yes. What have you got? It's a bit of metal. Oh, you've got a hinge. Yeah, it was bent there and it was mm -hmm. bent there, so I straightened it out. It's yeah. totally seized up. Right. But for me, you see, that's not just a hinge. It's mm. a piece of structural scrap. Structural scrap. Yeah, because if I wanted to, say, make a representation using melted bottles and bits of junk of, say, a colliery, then for me, if you screw that little base down like that then this will lean slightly you could put a wheel there mm. and that would be a headgear oh, yeah. on a pit it's all in the imagination because we have found as Carly mentioned we found our watch and made a lovely piece with the fossil with the watch that was very sort of um, reminiscent of mining days but we also on two separate occasions found two pieces of the same face and that was about a year apart. So I already have pieces I've made from this river. The watch on the fossil and that mask that was formed out of the two pieces. So now who knows what this may become. We'll have to wait and see, but I'll have to find more bits to go with it.
Phil's called me back because he's seen something I'm looking for and I missed it. What do you reckon it is? Any guesses? Is it a gold or blue? Right. I've just put things oh. back as they were. <laughs> I can see now. See this year? Yeah. I thought that was pipe stem. Right. And then when I got down, I realised it's not. No. See as it comes out, you can see it's the edge of a tile. But oh, then... Oh, look what's next of it. Oh, wow. Just there. Ah. Hope these gloves are waterproof. Well, mine are not, so I'll let you pick it up. There you go. Oh, wow. Well done. But I didn't see that, because, probably because of the discoloration to it. Mm. What I saw was that white. That's what caught my eye until I got down. Nice. Oh, lovely. Oh, I'm so pleased. So, there we go. That's a rare find on this river. It is, and I'm glad we came here now, even in the cold, because I love my pipe stems. And so far, my gloves are waterproof. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, that's what it is. I could see it a bit down and wasn't quite sure. I thought it was some sort of tool or something or something broken, but it is broken. But it's a handbag clasp. Well, the top opening of a handbag, but only half of it. And there would have been a decorative clasp on the top there and the two pieces would come together to close the bag oh well, that's quite interesting i don't think we'll find the other half though that rusted away a long time ago on the joints oh look at that it's a bit grubby but look oh such a beautiful color oh this has got a little bit of pale blue on the back i'm taking that home because it's so pretty and vibrant i love that ah. Oh, yes? I'm not moving. Why not? Because I have something by my foot that could be nothing and could be something. Oh, right. Come on, then. Let's have a look. Careful, everybody, because it's really rough underfoot. It's too good to be true, so it's probably not. Oh, right. Okay. But I've just come out from there, and uh -huh. that, to uh, every intensive purpose, looks a bit like um, one of them fancy pipes that you had before, you know? Oh, right. Let's have a look. Oh, I think it is. Oh, look. Oh, it is. It's a bone at all. Oh, wow. I thought it was a bone. I thought it's going to be yes. a bone. Oh, look at that. And I was only just oh. saying we don't <laughs> find pipe stems on this river. No, we found a pipe bone. But the lovely person that actually told us about this location, which is why we keep it to ourselves because it's not fair to share it, said they found a pipe down here. Yes. That's what excited them. We haven't found one. We found no. a few bits of pipe stems. That, I, oh, I honestly wow. thought, is, I'm frightened to move the stone because yeah. it's going to be a bit of bone. No, it's not. Look at that. Well done. I am so pleased. Oh, well spotted. Do Mr. I look Johnson. pleased? You do. I've just turned the camera straight back on because can I see a piece of pipe stem over there? Let's go have a look. If so, it's a chunky piece. Can you see it? That is what I'm thinking could be a pipe stem. Oh, it is. It's a chunky piece. I wonder if that belongs to the big chunky bone we just found. Oh, right. Now I am really pleased. I'm really excited. I can't wait to get looking. We just got to this bit of beach and there are lots of stones. So they could be hiding lots of treasures. Oh, let's go have a look. Have you found anything, Mr. Johnson? Actually, what I have found is lots mm -hmm. and lots of bits of china. It's everywhere here. So yeah. I decided yep. it seemed like a good opportunity for some plain old pattern. Good idea. My problem is quite a few of the pieces are patterned on both sides. Ah, yeah. But I have got a few here. Right. So I suggest yeah. let's play plain old pattern. Okay, I think I've discarded all the bits of clues on the back. Right. So we have eight pieces. Right. Therefore giving me the possibility of a draw. Oh, right. Okay, then. Now, obviously, if the black one is black, plain, both sides, it's a plain. But if it's got mm -hmm. any form of pattern, it's a pattern. Right. Okay, so I'm going to go for plain on that one. You oh, couldn't be more wrong. I love okay. that. Well, so I'm going to go for patterned on this big, big bit. No reason other than I was wrong on the last big bit. And you're right, oh, yeah. it's a well, that's lovely. lovely deep rich blue mm. in it on that. A pot or an urn and a trumpet. There's Ooh. a bit of money down here, I reckon, mm. with all this poshed pottery. Play, no, patterned. Oh, it's plain, another See, one for film. That was my reverse psychology. Yes. I was warning you that it could be patterned. Yes. And it wasn't. Mm. Total one. Right, oh dear, patterned. 
Oh, yep, yeah, that's a bit of willow pattern. Plain. Oh, oh you're one. on a roll. You ready for you two? Patterned. Ah, I can only draw now if you get them both wrong. Right. Patterned. Ha -ha. Oh, it's plain. So. It's all on this one for a draw or a victory right. to Caroline. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Um, um, patterned. Yes. Oh, there we <laughs> go. Five, three. Congratulations, my dear. Commiserations, my dear. Thank you, my dear. Well, we're playing that. I just want to look here because it's not a bit of pipe bowl. Oh, it is. I think it is. Or is it a bit of bone? I can't quite tell. I think that's pipe bowl. It's only a teeny tiny bit and I've just snapped a bit off. Oh, a nice little bit of pipe bowl to celebrate the end of our play no pattern game. I have a find. Do you? Yes. But Ooh. in fairness, this is not man-made mm -hmm. it's nature what's a conker we have a conker and there can't be many items other than marbles perhaps that bring back childhood memories of school days not so much in the lessons learning stuff but in the yard having fun because when conker season came around we were out there trying to win with our shoelaces threaded through our conkers which we had baked off in the oven, that we dipped in vinegar and goodness knows what else. Now, a week or two ago, when we were doing a piece about local history on another river, mentioned a school, we took a short visit to a church. And a lot of people have commented on what a beautiful church. It was a Norman church and it's about seven centuries old. But the interesting thing is, we're on a completely different river today, we're in a completely different valley, but this area has a church as well and then not too far from that there's another one we have three norman churches within a few minutes drive of our house the one that we visited last time which as i said so many commented on that beautiful parish church of getley guy situated right next door to the location of a roman fort which was on the boundaries at one time of the Roman Empire and quite an establishment. But the church itself, very nice. But then, similar design, you go across the valley onto this side and you go up on top of the mountain here because that's the one thing they all have in common. Tops of mountains was the place they liked to be 700 years ago. Gave them a sense of security but it also gave them the opportunity to pass a signal from one church to the other because at that time when they were built, these three church towers were visible from each other. So over here, we have Manavisloin. Now that church has a family connection for us. My great uncle, about a hundred years ago, was a carpenter, worked on the refurbishment of the tower. My grandparents are buried there and so is my uncle Albert up in the graveyard at Manavisloin. But it's not just men of this line, because we also have Badwetti. Beautiful church again. Situated right on top of a hill within view of our home. Except for the fact they built a big coal tip in the way. So the only one we can see today from our house is men of this line. But all three churches, when they were built, the towers, they could see each other, signal to each other. And, of course, the beautiful thing with Bedwelty is there, up on the top of the tower, they fly the Welsh flag. I hope you've enjoyed visiting these churches with us, seeing some of the scenery of the churches, because they are, I realise, through making the videos, special places. Places, perhaps, that we take a little for granted as we see them each and every day. But I know that when we share these things with you all out there, they can have real meaning. So there you are, three Norman churches, 700 years old, all dotted right around where we live. I told you, there's history everywhere. What do you think that is? Oh no, it's the heel of a hobnail shoe. Another one, two heels today. We don't usually find heels, we usually find the soles. Not a solid heel like that. Oh, I can see something else. Oh, this is a good spot. See if you can spot what I've spotted. Hmm. 
maybe it is. Look at that. It's a glass bottle stopper. Now there's something written on it and I don't have my glasses. So if you want to see what's written on it, tune in to our live show, nine o'clock Saturday night, where we show our finds, have a quiz, have a lot of fun. And that's the same every week. So any week you want to tune in, we'll be there nine o'clock on a Saturday. Have a chat, have a laugh. Oh, I'm pleased with that. That's probably a bit of a bed warmer, do you think? Oops. Oh, could be part of a flagon. We've got a handle of a tankard. What's this shoe? It's oh the top off. It's a knob on the top of a little glass lid off something for the dressing table, I'd say. Oh me, oh we go see something else as well. That's a pretty colour. Not much left of it, but a very pretty colour. And is that a coin? It's always doing this to me, it probably isn't. No, it's a stone. There's a little collection of things. It's a bit of a broken bottle. I like that. It's a mini plinth. Mm, we'll take that as a present for plinth and teapot man. Oh, that is a very pretty top of a bottle. But no bottom. Another top of a bottle. Whoops, it's rolled away. Two pairs of gloves is really difficult. Nothing exciting under there. You can see glass and bits of pottery everywhere. Today, though I'm not after bits of pottery, on a day when I am, that would be brilliant. I've got other things in mind today. Some books down here, if you fancy having a little look. You go. That with like a turquoise and green pattern on. This is the bottom of a flagon or a jar. This is nice. Probably off something like a bowl. They used to have the bowl and jugs in Victorian times to wash in the bedrooms. That's what it looks like. Or oh, a gazunder, which is a big ceramic potty that goes under the bed. Do you need a break? Here's the very thing. <laughs> it's not quite a holiday break, it's a break of a bike. Hmm. I wonder where the rest of the bike is. Probably gone downstream. Oh, there's a dog over there. Spaniel. I'm going to look over there and I look down to where I could step safely. And look, look, it's another glass bottle stopper. It's a plain one this time. Oh, I'm pleased that's two glass bottle stoppers we've got up here. Definitely something to keep on my, keep your eye out for. Oh no, look, 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 look. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so excited. Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh, move that out of the way. Move that out of the way. Look at that. I've got another piece of pipe stem with a tiny bit of bowl on the bottom. Oh, oh I'm so excited to do that. I just love finding pipe stems. I don't think I'll ever get bored of finding pipe stems. And what's this here? Oh, a little bit of an inkwell. Not a lot left. A little bit. Looks like the ones we had in school. Yes, he does from a desk. Yeah, drop it in the top of the desk with your little mm. scratchy pen. Yes, awful things. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Johnson. What have you found? I found something. Oh, what have you found this time? You've got a smug look on your face. Well, I was coming along and I kept seeing broken glass, broken yeah. glass. Some really old broken glass. There's a lovely piece of ponty pool glass up there, but all I can see is wool. Right. Because it's smashed to smithereens. I thought there's got to be something here. Right. Of course, there hasn't got to be something here, because often there's not. Yeah. <laughs> but I have found something. Oh, come on, mate. Show us your wonderful uh, find. I don't think it was left purely for the fact it's got no writing on it. I think right. it was left because I don't think it was seen. Because right. I found it down at the bottom. And I've given it a bit of a wash right. and to see if there was anything on it. There's not, but look at the... Look at the... Look at the bubbles in that. Yeah, and I think there's a, a tiny nibble on the top. Yeah. But that is probably older than the broken stuff I saw. That's pale blue with the sun. You know, the sun is very low because it's February. Lovely. Oh, I like that. Nice. Now, hmm. as you know, yes. I have a few of these. Yes which I put on a lovely little shelf that I made out of a piece of wood that Mr. Tom Burley gave us on a visit up to Yorkshire. 
But now, I don't only have this one to display, but as Caroline would like me to not only get her greenhouse cleared for the spring, but also she'd like to be able to sit in a conservatory which is full of boxes of glass. A real I'm going to just pop over to the shed, find a place for this, and hopefully put back out on display some of that stuff that's cluttering Caroline's conservatory. Yes, so, <laughs> so come and join me now as we have a go at putting a few more things out and finding a spot for this precious find. So here we are in the shed and I'm looking for solution ideas for all these bottles we're collecting. We've just picked up that lovely bottle there on the river, gorgeous old bottle. And as I said, I have so many here. I can just turn around and put my hand on a few over this side that are on the little shelf that I made with the plank that uh, Tom picked up in the river for us. And of course, behind me, the shelves are laden with bottles of all descriptions. There are so many bottles. I've even got the cabinet in the corner, which I'm using to display some of the items I've got. As I say, the shelves are double thick. Some places where I've got smaller bottles, triple thick with fines. And I need to add more. I need more shelving. I need more space. Now I've got ideas for on the back wall over there. I've got some more storage possibilities coming in, but those are more for storing bits and pieces, little bits of broken china and the such like. But I've had a brainwave today that has nothing to do with the walls. I'm going to put bottles on the ceiling. Yes, folks, you heard it here. Bottles on the ceiling. As I said, I'm running out of space on the shelves. What better place to put shelves than above my head? So I'm going to see if I can fix some shelving just under you. I've got two points at which there are cross members. And I'm thinking if I can put a shelf along that protrudes on both sides, just a little, just a couple of inches, then I can put some of the smaller bottles along the rafters. And hopefully that'll look nice. And also, it'll get more of these booties on display. So, first things first, I better start measuring, cutting, drilling, and fixing. Right, first things first, I've chosen my piece of timber. This looks a nice piece of timber. I think it's going to suit the shed. And it's eight inches wide. Now, the cross member is around about three inches, just under three inches. So that's going to leave two and a half to three either side. So two and a half inches gives me a good setting for the base of not necessarily a tiny bottle. I could have some slightly larger ones as well. And of course, it's going to put a shelf either side. So I'm going to have double the length. Now, I've got about 40 inches in there that I can come across. I've got two cross members that I can place these shelves on. I'm going to get over 13 feet of shelving which is an awful lot of shelving for space that would have been completely ignored. So let's get cutting, let's get drilling, let's get fixing, and let's get filling the shelves. Okay. So we've got our piece of wood cut, all we have to do now is offer it up to the ceiling and pop the first central screw in and hopefully then that loaded in place for us to move it around and get the rest done. So I'm using a very good length screw there with a good thread on it because obviously there's just three screws and the weight of the shelf and the bottles is all coming straight down. So here we go. If I get that pretty much center of there and we should be pretty okay. Here we go. And there we have it. One shot. 
which when fully measured, admittedly, I won't be able to imagine the corners. It is 43 inches long. But as I say, if we only use 40 inches of that, that's gonna give us an awful lot more space to put bits and pieces. And quite a good depth on the shelf as well. Obviously, I don't wanna put anything in front of our little character here, because he's part of the old shed. He's carrying over the heritage from the old to the new. But of course, as well as this shelf, as if by magic, we'll just turn you around to the other side. And we have that shelf, which runs from side to side, exactly the same. So we've got two shelves, both about seven centimeters deep. That's about three inches to take bottles and collectibles. So now all I have to do is Find some bottles, and that shouldn't be difficult around here. Well, that's that shelf, nicely adorned with bottles on both sides. And of course, I have now the capacity to put another one over here, just under my granddad's sign. And that's where I'll be displaying the bottle we just found. And who knows, perhaps we're gonna find some more bottles that will go just nicely upon one of these shelves. The only way to find out is to get back over there and start looking. Let's get back to the river. I've sent Phil, my intrepid explorer, up there to have a look because I've seen something. And I thought, well, Phil's good for that sort of thing, mountaineering, as I always say, he's like a gazelle. We've got half a cod bottle. Half a cod bottle, hmm. Oh, <laughs> she? oh. Ooh, ah. Uh, if two halves make an old one. Yeah. What is it? Look at those. Similar colour glass to what I just had from down the bottom. Oh, look at those. What's written on They're the bottom? They're quite an aquarine colour. Essex and Bristol. Oh, whoever Essex and were, they made very nice bottles. Yes, and look oh, at that. Shoulders gone on two of them. I think they've been broken by the bottle diggers. Possibly as they dug. Oh, I can see a really big pot over there too. Yes, I know. And it's broken again, but definitely worth a look. Right, let's try and get up there because I'm seeing too many fun things. Be careful everyone, it's very rough underfoot. But at least there are plenty of places to wedge your foot so you don't slide back down. Oh. Hey. There you go. You don't look too bad from our side. Oh no, it's lovely. Look at that. <laughs> Let me it that way. It's not quite so well, is it? Oh, what a shame. It but would I, be nice to use as a planter, but I don't know whether we want to carry it because... I think I will can, carry you it. You will? Okay I, then. I think I will because, mm -hmm. as well as a planter, mm -hmm. I think it could become something in which to set something else. Right. I'm thinking now of that little figure that I put into that vase. Mm -hmm. And I thought if this was stood and fixed and then put something in there, then that could, that could work right. as a, as a mm. display. Okay, I'm going to take it home and give it a try. Okie dokie. First, I better take it down the river and give it a wash. Okay. Mmm, look. Found some goodies and the first thing is this. It's whole. Bottle diggers didn't want it. But I'll take it and it's Cousin's tomato sauce. Oh, I didn't know Cousin's made tomato sauce. Oh, I like that. And there's nothing wrong with it. As far as I can see, it looks pretty whole to me. Oh, look. Out and down. Look! Oh, 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 look, I've got to show you to the light. I don't know if you can see it. The bubbles in that. That's almost like a pattern is so bubbly. Oh, that is the most beautiful little bottle like that I've ever seen. I'll be careful not to drop it when I'm wearing double gloves. Oh, that is so lovely. 
had a left by the bottle diggers. Obviously not good enough for them, but we'll take them. Oh, shame the rest of that, isn't there? Look at the colour on that. Oh, another one. Another bottle? Another one of them ones like you've got. Oh, is it just bubbly? Don't think so. It's got, is there water in it? Yeah. Ugh. No, it's not as bubbly as the other one. Can we look up to the light? No, it's just a little and this one's broken, but interesting because I haven't oh, seen that Castle before. Castle Pure Drinks. Cattell. Or Cattell Newport. Oh. I haven't seen that before. No, that is definitely a new one to us. So, I see it on the back there. Any person will be prosecuted. Ooh. Any person, just random. There's yeah. got to be another word in there There's somewhere. a little sentence I can't read. I'll get my say? glasses on. Let's have a look. It says, any person misusing this bottle Ooh. will be prosecuted. Ooh. Now then. Take care of that bottle. That might make this worth taking off. Why so? Because I was going to say it's a shame the words are written down or it's going to cut it and use it for a candle. Mm -hmm. If I cut it there no. and put a candle in it, it'll <laughs> actually say I'm going to get prosecuted <laughs> because I misused the bottle. You naughty boy. So I think maybe that's interesting. What's that say? Metal or ceramics? What do you reckon? Oops, sorry, the camera's a bit wonky. Oh, that's interesting in that it's an enamel saucer. I've never seen an enamel saucer before. I don't think it's the sort of thing people have cups and saucers in. Hmm. A bit rusty now, though. I can see something in there. Do you think that's a horseshoe? In there. I don't know if the camera is. Oh, here we go. Get wet fingers. Oh, wet fingers is not a horseshoe. <laughs> what is it? It's the top of a teapot or something or a vase. Ugh, I've now got a double layer of wet glove. I couldn't pick it up with my grabber. Ah, that's very uncomfortable. I said we hadn't found one before. Now yep. I found two. There you go, mushroom pair twins. But it means I can make a pair of candlelights. Yeah, very good. Cut them both off and I'll have two bottles they say I'm going to be prosecuted for Ta -da. improper use of their <laughs> bottle. But I think I will be justified because you couldn't really use it for the proper purpose no. with the top like that. It's a bit dead. So I think I'll make a pair of candles. Oh, it's you, Mr. Johnson. It is I. It is me. Who are you expecting? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, to start with, mm. I found a third one of those. Oh, another one again. That I'm not allowed to improperly use. Right. So I'm taking that with me. But talking about cutting bottles, mm. look at that. I swear somebody had to go cut in that, <laughs> and it's actually right through the base because a bit of the glass yeah. is still on. But the intriguing Ooh. thing is, ooh, don't <laughs> smash it! <laughs> you it! The intriguing thing is, the bit that survived until I gave it to Caroline <laughs> was this. Flower and Sons, is it? Flower and Sons Brewery, Stratford on Even. Oh. That's, you know, we're finding Risca, Newport, well, they are all major areas that are on this flow of river that comes all the way from Tredega right down to Newport. So you get a lot of those names for Stratford on Avon. Mm. This is not the Avon. And for those who think I'm losing my touch when it comes to ugly bits of scrap metal that I think could be useful. Yeah. Oh yes, that is very ugly. <laughs> <laughs> so nice of you to say so, dear. I think it's part of the clock though, is it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'll give it a bit of a brush up, but I'm thinking just that when it goes in my box of bits, mm -hmm. my box of ugly bits, for when I'm putting something together and think, oh, I know what I've got, I'll use that. There we go, it's one of them. It's a, oh, I know what I've got. Oh, I found a button. Oh, Phil just dropped something. A little metal button. I'm not sure how old that is. I'll have a read when I get it home and clean it up. I've got you some flowers. Oh, some pansies, how pretty. There we go, my dear flowers just for you. Thank you. Which just goes to prove what I was saying earlier. They had some posh pots in this part oh, of the did. world. We didn't go far from home again today folks. We're just 10 minutes from the house. But again we have found some lovely things. I thought I'd won the day with that pipe but I'm willing to defer to Caroline's beautiful little bottle with all those air bubbles in it. What did you think was your favourite? Let us know in the comments. But 
for now the journey's over time to get back home so if you've enjoyed the video please give us a thumbs up doing, doing, doing. and of course most importantly until we're all together again have fun bye, bye.